My name is Ava Ford. I'm 20 years old and I go by she, her. My name is Trey Baldwin. I am 18 and my pronouns are he and him. I'm Sam, she, her pronouns, and I'm 19. My name is Kylie. I am 20 um, and she, her. I'm Maggie. I'm 18 and my pronouns are she, her. Uh, my name is Gabriel Dutra. Uh, 20 years old. Zachary Murrow. I am 18 and I go by he, him. Um, my name is Maya. I'm 21. I'm Talvin. 18 years old and she, her pronouns. My name is Caitlin. I'm 18 years old and my pronouns are she, her. What is your definition of success? I would say it's just being happy with what you do and your life. Probably being happy with the people you like and being like in a comfortable place. Happiness, as long as you're happy doing what you like and you don't have too many worries in your life. Some people call success having a lot of money. I think of it as as long as you're, you're doing something you like and that's something you can make a living out of, I'd say that's pretty successful. Happiness. Um, you know, I've met plenty of people that nowadays would be considered dirt poor, but you know, they have their bare necessities and they do what they love and they're happy. Happiness. Uh, I don't think success is money or, I think it's just feeling fulfilled. I just want to be happy and healthy and to be able to take care of myself and the people that I love. Just being happy in what you do. Like, it doesn't matter how much money you're making or like what other people are telling you to do, like what it might feel like you want to do. If It just matters what makes you happy and what you think you're good at and what you want to be doing. Are you happy? Yeah. I go to Leslie University. I'm a psych major um, with a social work minor. I went to com community college um, in Worcester, and it was a general studies major. Quinsig, Quinsigamon Community College, nursing. Leslie University. I'm in graphic design. I went to Salem State, and um, I was going for media and communications, but I really want to be in music, so I'm looking to transfer right now. I've applied to Rutgers and I'm going to go there in the fall. The planned is mechanical engineering. I go to Lesley University and I'm a psychology major. Um, I went to Fitchburg State and now I go to Mount Wachusa Community College. My major at the moment is film and television. <laughs> I'm moving to New York City um, in May to be a musical theater major. My childhood was not per se stereotypical and I just feel like helping kids while they're still young so that they don't get to where I was when I was a teenager. I was nervous. I didn't, didn't really know what I wanted to do yet, so I, I settled for general studies just to get like an idea. Um, I wanted to do it for a really long time, mostly because my little brother was in the hospital a lot. I just saw the nurses and wanted to be the nurses. I've never worked with like computers doing art, so it's like a little new, but I also felt like I've done everything else, and I was like, like if I was gonna learn something in college, it should be like something I don't know. So. I feel like it's just the way that's best presented to us in high school. I don't know. I feel like we're not really given much of a different choice. I think it's a per person um, thing. So like, if you have a specific goal in the future that you want to achieve, if you think college is the way for you to get there, then absolutely. And I feel like it's all about choosing the right college for you. I don't think I can really say that yet. Like, I have no idea. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, I found a lot of success outside of the classroom myself. I mean, most of the things that I've accomplished in the past year and a half have been on my own and outside of school. So, I mean, I think it's a good way to immerse yourself into something that you want to do and get like a base knowledge. But I think there's also a lot of, um, a lot of credit in just doing what getting experience in the field, just like trying to do what you have to do. If you have a solid plan and you know what you want to do, Godspeed, like go for it. Well, I think it depends on what you want to do in life because while I don't think that everyone should have to go to college or that it should be regarded like as a prerequisite because that's like a whole nother thing, like college isn't a system that's for everyone and our education system in itself is inherently not good um, in terms of what it prepares us for and how it makes us like view things. <laughs> it's been rough. 
um, the fact that I even had to take a semester off. So it was a lot. First year at UMass Dartmouth, so like a four-year university on campus. <laughs> and, and like, I don't know. It was definitely a lot. It was kind of just like high school. But everyone lived together. That's pretty bad. <laughs> um, I guess there's been a lot um, of in and out, a lot of like trying to figure out where I fit, trying to figure out what I want to do, and I just really don't know yet. At my first school I went to, I had some pretty bad experiences, and I dropped out. But now I'm in a little bit of a better place, but I'm still trying to get, I don't know, more, I guess, like trying to figure out what I really want to do. Okay. No, um, I love my roommates. Um, I haven't had any like horrible experiences with any people or teachers, so it's been pretty good. I think it's pretty great. I have some really awesome suite mates in a pretty great location. Um, and I'm loving all of my classes. Most of my professors are pretty good. And I, it gave me the end of independence and separation from my family that I really needed. I liked it because, it, again, it felt like I was doing something like useful, I guess, that I felt like I should be doing. But in terms, I guess, like mentally and like socially, since I didn't know anyone or have any friends, it was like, it was just a bad time for me. It was fine. I liked it. Um, just not ready for it. What about transferring for a little bit? Um, and then I thought about it more, and I realized that the reasons why I was pushing the transfer were based off of others' experiences and not my own. Um, and I realized that like I didn't, I personally didn't have many issues with the school and that I really enjoyed the classes and the professors I was meeting. Um, and I thought, well, if like the school is good, like if the classes I'm taking are good and if the people I'm meeting are good, then why would I need to transfer? Yes, the administration here sucks and I would like if possible, to have some basic needs, such as clean water and no mold. I don't want to worry about that. Have you had that actual experience yourself, or is it just other people have been telling you about this? I haven't, and that's not really something I want to pay 50 grand to worry about. I don't know, we go to high school, and then like we have counselors, and they tell us, like, oh, you have to do this and this. So it's like, I feel like it's the only thing that we're really like given to do. Like, what do you do if you don't go to college, really? I work at a place called Rush Tool and Die, Inc., and I am an industrial painter. My job consists of using um, different industrial coatings on uh, the parts that go into machines that make, uh, like, milk jugs and stuff, and we assemble those. Right now, I'm a pharmacy trainee. I'll have my license in 500 hours of work, fill prescriptions um, with the like pharmacists next to me, um, label them a lot, kind of like a retail job, but these people have to get these specific things. You're selling like a necessity to people. Uh, I do work um, as a full-time auto mechanic. I just do basic, uh, basic and intermediate maintenance to um, motor vehicles, so whether that goes from putting tires on, doing a brake job, oil changes to bigger, more important components. I work three jobs. I work as a um, media assistant at a cable TV company, and I work at Dunkin' Donuts, and I also work at an escape room. I have been working at all three of them for about two, three years now, probably. Well, mostly I had uh, some paperwork that I had to deal with uh, due to immigration purposes. I came from Brazil, and uh, welding shops weren't willing to um, like sacrifice a couple freedoms uh, for that and I found uh, someone who was willing to train me and look past that paperwork necessity and therefore I went with finished carpentry. It involves mostly installing uh, specific hardware like doors, kitchen hardware, cabinets, uh, baseboard, all the decorative stuff uh, that comes with a house or a commercial building. Really for me, my original plan out of high school was to adventure, explore, kind of just enjoy my last full amount, like my last little bit of childhood, you know, get every little ounce of freedom. I graduated and then I went to college for like freshman year. I was like, ooh, am I ready? 
am I ready to like keep going? No. Uh, definitely a good option, especially if you gain enough skill to start your own business. I know a couple people that decided to go that route and it worked out pretty well for them. Basically, I got told I had to quarantine for like two weeks, but they had no space on campus, so I had to go home. And it's kind of a, a decent long drive for my parents. And I got scared it was going to happen like over and over again throughout the semester. So I was like, if I'm if my parents are paying like full tuition for me to be here and I'm just online schooling at home, like I felt really bad about it. So I was like, I'm just going to withdraw and then I'll take a gap year. Honestly, it was, I think it's more of an to each their own like kind of deal because I, the, what I went to school for was originally like auto body stuff and working on cars and that's always been a passion of mine. But I feel like with my expertise in that, I feel like I can make more money more quickly using my skills in that rather than spending more time in college and spending money on that to learn something else. I think a big impact for me was not actually like being able to finish high school really because of the pandemic and everything. Like I graduated 2020, so we didn't get to go back at all, do any senior stuff. And it just kind of like felt like, I don't know, like this piece of my life was kind of missing. And it was really upsetting for a while. And it's still kind of hard to wrap my head around sometimes because, you know, I miss my friends. But really the pandemic, like it really just halted everything for everyone, ruined a lot of plans for everyone. Bills, bills, um, having to work, having people rely on you to show up every day. School was always a little bit more relaxed, as in if you got sick, ah, you know, you can call out, no big deal. With work, it's a little more difficult. I think just all of the adult decisions that I've had to make have really like shaped me into like forcing myself into figuring out just how the real world works. And I don't think I really learned it at school. I think I just learned it working, uh, dealing with the government bills and stuff. And I think I figured it out kind of on my own. I'd probably say going to college for that week, to be honest, because it was just a very different environment. And like, <laughs> I didn't really adapt in that week very well. I did not make like any friends. Definitely the independence like leaving and just being able to make decisions for myself and do things for myself. Well, if I had applied to Rutgers in the first place, I probably wouldn't have needed to go through that whole process. So I guess, yeah, I would have definitely preferred just going to Rutgers because that's, again, that's where my older sister is and like it would have just been much more convenient for my parents financially and like driving wise. I wish I took more time before I decided what college I wanted to go to because I think I've known all, all along what I wanted to do. And then once I did go to Salem and was doing media and communications, it's like, OK, I like doing it. It was another thing I did in high school. But it's not what I want to be doing my whole life. So I just kind of got in this depressed mode, like, this is what I want to be doing. I want to be doing something else. So I would definitely have changed where I looked for schools, <laughs> maybe taking a year off last year and then start now. And I'd like to get paid more. I'm not saying that I do not get paid not well, but I mean, that would always be nice. But <laughs> I mean, I probably just wish I would have known what I wanted going out of my senior year. And I wish that I had a better plan and wish that I had a little bit more figured out before. Maybe try a little bit harder to find a job that could land me in welding, considering that's what I spent four years training for in high school. I would like to try it, um, but so far I'm pretty satisfied with the way I went. I am going to go to college and get a degree, so probably something relating to that degree. Goal later on in life is to become a childhood trauma therapist, and I feel like being a psych major with a social work minor is a good way to get there. I want to be a music producer or writing lyrics. I don't know. I'm. I think I want to be a stage director or like a stage manager or a stage hand or something, but I'm not really sure yet. I just trying to have fun, I guess, and I'm figuring it out. I think I want to work in like the wildlife or wilderness or something like that. Seems interesting. Well, I want to use community psychology specifically and try to work with communities. Like, I don't want to be like a corporate lawyer. 
you know, but like I'm interested in law and like policies and how that affects communities. My biggest goal would be to just kind of have like a side hobby of restoring cars. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I know I'm in the process of enlisting in the Marine Corps. Uh, try to see it from there. If I enjoy it, that could be my career. If not, uh, could I actually end up using some of the benefits to try taking a class in college, actually, depending on how it goes? Definitely just do what you want to do, you know? Don't listen to, like, what your parents or, like, teachers may be pushing on you to do. Like, do what you feel comfortable with. If you know that what you're doing right now is what you want to do, keep going. If there's something else that your gut is telling you to do, go with your gut. Just figure out where you ultimately want to be in the end, what you truly want to do and what's going to make you happy and work your hardest towards it in whichever area. You don't have to go to college. And I feel like if you're bored with where you are or like not liking where you are, like go somewhere else, obviously. Meet new people, it's fun. Just take your time, figure out what you want. Take that gap year if you're thinking about it. Um, if you don't know what you want to do, you have time, just think about it and you can, you'll figure it out eventually. A key part in making your college experience is making sure you have a good roommate and also good friends um, because I feel like that's like a make or break for the experience. Like you might be really enjoying the classes, but like if you don't have good friends or a good roommate, like that can really bring down like the entire experience. Um, and if you don't go to college, Friends to you. Like, I'm sure you're going to accomplish, like, many great things in life. As long as you're doing what you like and you're good enough to make a good living out of it, you should absolutely go for it. Nothing wrong with not going to college. That's what I'm doing. Pursue what you want to pursue, and if college isn't in the picture, then, like, that's totally okay.